Oh my god, it feels so weird to be this blonde again! Why, right, hello there. Um, this looks really weird. It's been a long time since I've been this blonde. I've had my hair done, I am ready for summer, for hopefully the best summer of my life. It just needs to stop raining. And today I'm going to be showing you all of my favourite things from the past, I don't know, I guess the past couple of months. Just all of my favourites that I seem to be reaching for on a daily basis. And there's a really nice mix in here of really affordable stuff and some more high-end bits, so let's do it! Also, let me know down below uh, what your current favourites are, because there's been some good new makeup launches recently. And actually, you know what, some of my favourite are kind of like older rediscoveries. Things that I used to love and I've just started using them again and been like, why did I stop using that? For my primer, I'm using the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer, which I found myself just reaching for quite a lot recently. I think because I am using a lot of moisturizing skincare products at the moment to try and hydrate my skin as much as I can, but then I also want like a little bit of something mattifying before I do my makeup. I have to say, all I have been using recently, I mean, even yesterday when I went to get my hair done, I just used this and a brow tint gel thing. But I did use this in my previous video, so I'm not gonna like demo it on my skin today, but it's the Rimmel Multitasker Better Than Filters. The thing that's kind of like a dupe for the Charlotte Charlotte Tilbury? The Charlotte Tilbury... Flawless Filter. This is like the Rimmel dupe version, and I've been loving this. I wear the shade 02 Fair Light, which gives me a bit of glow, and I've been like dragging it down my neck as well, because I couldn't be bothered to redo my fake tan yesterday. Really like this. But if you want to see this in action and me speak more about it, it's in my previous video. Sorry, another primer that I've also been loving is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop. It's very, very similar to the Hydra Grip primer. Wait, is it called Hydra Grip? No, it's not. What's it called? Power Grip, the e.l.f. primer. Um, The Jelly Pop one is very, very similar, but I don't know whether it's just because this is new. I've been reaching for this more, but I also have been loving this too. And then for foundation, oh my god, this is covered in like hairs. Why is it the lid all sticky? That is horrible. This is the L'Oreal, I'm just gonna take the lid off. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 32 hour fresh wear foundation. I have got the shade 125 warm, but when I had my weekend of three concerts in a row, when I had two Taylor Swift and Girls Aloud on the Sunday, it was a long weekend of concerts and I wore different foundations on each day to like test the longevity of them. This one held up the best. It looked incredible even after the concert, and it just lasted so well, looked amazing for the whole night, and I forgot why I even ever stopped using this foundation. You know what, I think what it was is that my colour match wasn't quite right. That is my shade for when I've got tan on, by the way, although at the moment, I think there's a little bit of tan left on my neck. I'm just gonna bring some of this down my neck and maybe put on a bit less of it, but it just isn't too heavy. It's got really nice coverage, and it lasts so well. I could have put on more right now. I've put on like a light layer, so it's not giving me crazy coverage, but you could definitely build this to like a pretty full coverage foundation. But with me saying that I was using different foundations on each day, what were the others? Oh, another night I used the Rimmel Lasting Finish, which is still a great foundation, but I feel like this one just looked a little bit nicer at the end of the night. The Rimmel one is great though as well, it's just a little bit thicker. And then on the other day, I think I might have used the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation. And you know what? I mean, Too Faced is still my favorite concealer, but I have actually been using this Fenty one recently. It's just the Fenty Pro Filter, like the original concealer. Oh, and a brush, which I didn't even end up using for my foundation. The It Cosmetics Double End Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection Brush is such a good brush. It is a pricey brush. However, so far when I've been like washing this and reusing it, I haven't noticed any like shedding or anything. It's got a little concealer brush, which is so handy for either blending out your concealer or doing a little bit of nose contour. And then this is perfect for all over your face, for your cream bronzer, for your cream blush. It's such a good brush. So I've also been loving that. Oh my God, my skin is peeling like a snake. I upped my tretinoin in my Dermatica prescription in the past couple weeks. And I feel like it's doing amazing things things for my skin. This is not sponsored by the way, but I do work with Dermatica quite a lot on a paid basis, but I upped my percentage of tretinoin and my skin is glowing, but it's also peeling a, like a snake. <laughs> so forgive me if there's any like patches of dry skin. I did exfoliate before this, but you never know. Yeah, see, that Fenty concealer's got really nice coverage. I like it. I have been using this so much. I tested it a few videos back and it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer Stick. I've got the shade Chocolate Souffle. Every time I smell this, it makes me want to eat it because it smells like Terry's Chocolate Orange. It smells incredible. I definitely prefer using it by putting it on my brush first and then like stippling it onto my face because it's very pigmented and you really don't need much of it, but it just blends out really nicely. Oh, my makeup's sitting a bit funny today. I think it's the skincare that I've put on underneath, but it's a really nice colour. You literally need one little swipe, so I think this is going to last me for a long time. Oh, get that hair out of the way. Ah, yeah, as you can see, just blends really nicely and it smells 
incredible. And then I'm gonna use the other side of this brush to just do my nose contour. Oh my god, that was too much. I'm starting to feel like my old self again, like my 22 year old self with this hair and with like the bronzy makeup. I mean, it doesn't really make up, I mean, this is how I do my makeup anyway, but I feel like the hair makes such a difference. And there's something else that I've been loving. Uh, I have reviewed this before quite a while ago. It's the Florence by Mills Cream Blush in the shade Kind Kelly. It's kind of a cool shape actually, because you can't just do that and it does like a little stripe of blush. However, again, I find it a lot easier to just take some on my brush. Um, but this is such a nice summer shade. It's quite natural. It's nothing too intense. Like as you can see, it just gives a little flush of color. But on the days where I've not been wanting like the full kind of pink cheeks, and using the nude sticks. And if I want something that's a bit more sort of like everyday kind of blush, I've really been enjoying this and I've been putting it in my makeup bag. I kind of have like a makeup bag next to me that I swap out different products in. So this is just everything that's in there at the moment and that's what I use on like a daily basis. And then if I need to pick it up to go somewhere to like go away for the weekend or quite often if I'm going somewhere in the car and James is driving, I will finish my makeup in the car. Then I'll just take that all with me. But yeah, I really like this blush actually. I do think though it's for Florence by Mills. I said this when I went first reviewed it. It's quite expensive. It's £18. So for like a few extra pounds, you could get a rare beauty blush. However, if you're into your Florence by Mills, if you're curious about these blushes, I do actually like it. I think it's nice. It's no shimmer. It's literally just like a cream blush that adds a bit of colour. The powder blush though is where it's at. I'll show you in a sec. I'm going to use this, which is the Collection Loose Filter Setting Powder, which I think I, again, I used in my previous video. I have been using this on like a daily basis and I like it. However, it does not last super well. So after a couple of hours, I noticed that I start to get oily. So I think it would probably be better suited for dry skin if you're looking for a powder that can sort of like set your makeup but it's not going to be too heavy yeah i guess if you don't need it to last all day so i wouldn't necessarily say that this is a favorite but i think for the price it's a good powder because i really like how smooth it makes my under eyes also oh my god music favorites at the moment kind of random i have been listening to charlie xcx's album in the gym i feel like her music isn't my regular kind of music i'm not really into that kind of i don't know what is it like electro pop i don't know actually what charlie xcx's music is but she has some great songs on that album and it's so good to like pump you up if you're gymming or running or something or going to a rave. <laughs> what else? I've been listening to a lot of like old school Britney Spears, like my prerogative, such a good song. Been listening to a lot of Chapel Roan, she's incredible. I've been listening to 21 Pilots new album. I've been listening to the Post Malone new song with Blake Shelton. Girls by The Kid Leroy, such a good song. Gracie Abrams and Taylor's song, Us. I've also been listening to some Avril Lavigne. Been listening to her new album. I used to love Avril Lavigne as a kid. Went to see her when I was eight. I would have loved to have seen her recently, but I was away the weekend that she was performing. And then also random uh, I've been loving this song that was suggested for me by Bring Me The Horizon, which is N slash A, N A. My playlist at the moment is so mixed. Perry Edwards' new song or Perry's new song. And obviously like Sabrina, please, please, please. So if anyone has any other music suggestions for me of my very mixed music taste, which is mostly like pop and country are probably like my two favorite genres. And then a bit of like emo stuff as well. God, like when I was in my teens, I listened to a lot of Hollywood Undead and I was in the car the other day and their album just came on because it was like one of the ones on my iTunes. And it started playing one of the Hollywood Undead albums and I was like, <laughs> My God, the way that those guys spoke about every situation, like women particularly, and I was just like jamming along to it. Like, what was I singing back then? I mean, they have some great tunes, but do not stand by anything that they say. Okay, powder blush. This is a new favorite. So not only have I been loving the Pixie blush, which I think I've spoken about before. Surely I've spoken about this on YouTube. I've definitely spoken about it on other platforms, but this Pixie glowy powder blush. Yep, I've definitely mentioned that, I think. But my recent favorite is the Ciate Glow 2 Blush Summer Fling. It is another like blushy highlighter. And I also have been enjoying the Fenty ones, but I just keep going back to the Ciate one. It is such a nice color. And it gives like a highlighter glow, but it gives that beautiful like peachy blush color, but just makes your skin look glowing and gorgeous. It's just such a nice product and it's so underrated. Like this is probably gonna be one of my favorites of the year, along with the Pixie one. I am fully converted from like using blush and highlighter to just a glowy highlightery blush. Look at the glow, it's so nice. Oh, I need some bronzer down my neck, don't I? I forgot to mention a concealer that I've just found mixed in with my brushes, because I obviously put it back in the wrong place. This is the NYX Pro Fix Stick Correcting Concealer. I've got the shade 05 Vanilla. This is so good for spot coverage. However, 
I'm still undecided and can't work out whether this was breaking me out because I was using it to like cover all the spots around my jaw and it was doing a great job and they just kept coming back like even not on my time of the month and I don't know if that was still a hormonal thing I don't know if that was just my skin at the time or I don't know if it was the concealer that was causing it so then I stopped using it for a while and I feel like the spots cleared up quite a lot so I really like this in terms of coverage but has anybody else had problems with this breaking them out or is that just a coincidence I don't know but I do like it oh gosh there's somebody at the door I am so sorry I can't remember what I was talking about but hopefully I finished what I was saying for my eyebrows I have been really enjoying both of these things the nude sticks brow boost set gel which is really nice but this one is like a clear brow gel so I use this more just after my brows have been tinted and I find that it holds them in place really well and then the benefit precisely my brow wax the texture of this reminds me a bit of the glossier boy brow like it's quite a waxy formula but then it has more tint I think than the glossier boy brow but it's just a really really nice brow gel because it holds them in place and gives them a bit of color and makes them look really fluffy. By the way, thank you for your comments on my previous video about my eyebrow shape and what I should sort of go for for the wedding. You know, something interesting is that me and James did a little like test shoot with our photographer. And in those photos, I was wearing the NYX brow pen in Ash Brown, which I wear all the time. However, in like the natural light and in the photos, it looks a little bit shiny on camera and it looks a little bit too heavy as well. So I'm so glad that we had that test because I was gonna wear that on the wedding day, but I think now I'm gonna stick with a pencil. By the way, I've been using these a lot, the Maybelline like slim brow pencil. I just always have one in my handbag and 90% of the time I'm doing my brows on a train and the Maybelline ones fit so nicely in a handbag. I just find myself reaching for these all the time. But yeah, I do definitely think like an arch is a bit more flattering on me. Cause again, in the test pictures, I did them a bit more straight and I think it looked a little bit angry. So yeah, this is a medium brown by the way. So in terms of eyeshadow, I'm so sorry that this is really boring cause it's nothing like super colorful or anything. But recently I've mostly been testing neutral eyeshadow palettes to decide what I'm gonna wear for the wedding. These are two of my favorites and they're kind of like dupes for each other to be honest. Like, do you see how kind of similar these look? The first one is the Too Faced Born This Way Cold Smile Mold and Nudes mini eyeshadow palette. This one is a bit more cool toned, but this sparkly shade is so beautiful. Got like a couple transition shades in there and then a dark matte brown. This for me is like the perfect little travel palette. I just wish it was a hint more warm toned. They do have a warm toned one, but it doesn't have like a light shimmer shade. But then I've also just been using this a lot recently, which is the MUA Neutral Wonderlust palette. And I need to remember that because I feel like the writing is slowly rubbing off the front. This is £3.95. I've spoken about it in quite a few videos now. I did a little Instagram reel on it. It's so nice for the price. Like the shades are pigmented. It's not the most blendable palette in the world, but for £3.95, I've been using this so much recently and no one would tell. So it's great. However, today I'm gonna use this. Too Faced one, just because I don't think I've used this on camera. I've just started off with that middle shade, which actually is darker than it looks. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with the slightly lighter matte shade down here. There is an absolute star of the show coming in terms of like shimmery eyeshadows, which I will show you in a sec. Let me just, I'm just gonna do a little transition shade today and then I'll smoke out the edges like I have been. I'm just trying to practice this kind of look as much as I can. <laughs> Although today I'm going a little bit quicker because I'm, running late for going to meet my parents, which nothing new there. As you can see though, a little bit more cool toned than what I usually go for, but I've really been enjoying using it. And what I have been doing as well is like mixing in a bronzer so that it makes it a bit more warm. Just using some of that medium shade along my lash line. But yeah, I would love to discuss any favorites of yours down below because maybe I've missed something that's launched recently. Launch recently. Launch recently. <laughs> Firstly, I'm just gonna show you the shimmer shade of the Too Faced on my lid. I'm gonna take a flat brush. This is just a refer one, I think. Oh no, this is Zoeva. It looks exactly the same as my refer brush, but I'm gonna paint some of this on. It's like a sparkly, sparkly, champagne-y sort of color. Probably goes on better with my finger but it catches the light so nicely. Like it's got like little fine kind of glittery particles in it. I just absolutely love it. It is gorgeous. But the thing that steals the show, this is one of my favorite products. Again, watch this be my favorites of the year. Favorite products that I have bought in the past year. It is the Twinkle Tower by Jordana Tisha Cosmetics. They are an indie makeup brand. Actually, do, are they still classes indie? They're killing it. This is like the Urban Decay um, Moonstone Space Cowboy, like sparkly eyeshadows. It's like the Makeup by Mario Master Crystal Reflector, but you don't just get one shade. You get four shades of those kind of twinkly, sparkly, 
micro glitter shades. This bottom one is pretty much a dupe for the Urban Decay. I would say though that this bottom one probably packs the least punch in terms of like pigment, but they are just very, like they don't really have like a base to them. It's more like eyeshadow toppers. There's this like bronzy, oh, bronzy color. It's like that wet look sparkle. There's this golden color, which probably has the most base pigment to it. And then the top one, which I've been using all the time is pretty much the same as like the Makeup by Mario Master Crystal Reflector. It's like a white, pearly white, shimmery, goodness. Like they're just so, so stunning. I'm actually going to use, let's use the lighter gold one. Oh, and then it also does have a little mirror in the top. So again, I've been putting this in my handbag, doing my makeup on the train. Let's use this gold. Oh my God. I think I've taken too much. I'm just going to pat that over my lid. They definitely, definitely go on better with your finger. Can you see how sparkly that is? Only thing is my eyes are now uneven, but I just love them. The white one is my favorite because you can kind of put it over any eyeshadow. But you know what? Let's just go over the other side with the gold and see if that makes them match. By the way, I promise I will go back to doing some more like creative makeup looks. But because these are like my favorites, this is just how I have been wearing my makeup recently. It is just so pretty. Like, I love it. 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 Oh yeah, I've been listening to Camila Cabello as well. So, so pretty. And then I'm just going to do a little smudgy thing on the outer corner with the dark brown. This little brush, by the way, is the made by Mitchell MC7. Or is it ME7? Maybe ME7, I can't read the writing. And then I'm gonna take the shimmery light shade from the Too Faced palette just in my inner corners. And if you wanna see what some of my other favorites are, you need to look inside my handbag. Maybe I should do like a handbag video on as a short or something because I've got some stuff in here that I just always take around with me and I do swap bits out. This ColourPop pencil has been coming with me everywhere. The cream gel liner. Oh, it's the shade Overboard, but that is pretty much rubbed off the back. I can just see it says over. But this is so handy for traveling with, with a little brush. I love it in my waterline. Cause it's not, it's like a medium brown. It's like a bronzy color, but it's so flattering in the waterline if you've got blue eyes. But it also works really nicely as like a smudged along the lash line and then winged out a little bit. Yeah, this is like my go-to makeup look at the moment. When I've been going to events, when I've been going to parties, when I've been going somewhere where I want my makeup to look nice, this is how I've been doing it. For my setting spray, I've been using the good old Faithful uh, Urban Decay All Nighter. I've also been using this one quite often, which this is newer to me like as you can see i've only used this much of it but it's the beauty no it's not it is the trig world cosmetics hollow hold setting mist and it i find that this holds my makeup really well and it does the whole like smudge proof eyeshadow test the mist isn't super fine, but it's also not as intense as like the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's like a nice in-between. I feel like it adds a nice even cover of setting mist on my face, but it feels like it's really doing something. Don't know where I've put it. I think it's in one of my other bags, but for the concerts, I used the L'Oreal, the one that smells and tastes like hairspray and looks like hairspray, but isn't hairspray. The L'Oreal like continuous mist one. And I feel like that did a good job for making my makeup hold up at the concerts. Two mascara favorites. Guys, I potentially think that I found a mascara that I like more or like on par with the Maybelline Sky High. Maybelline Sky High has been my favorite mascara since it launched. This L'Oreal Panorama one, the one that I tested when Kendall Jenner was clearly wearing lashes in the advert, this mascara has become my holy grail. This is the brush. It's like a plastic bristle brush. There's so many little short teeth and it just does such a good job. Probably actually gonna need a new one of these soon because it lives in my handbag. It does such a good job at like gripping onto your lashes and applying a good amount of product, separating them out, length, volume, and it grips like the really small inner corner ones as well. I really, really like it. I think it's a brilliant mascara. Let's try and fan my lashes outwards a bit. It's great. It's so good. And it does not smudge on me on my oily face. But another favorite mascara of mine that I've also been reaching for a lot recently is the new one from Maybelline, which is the Firework Mascara. This brush is completely different. It's like a very flexical, flexical? <laughs> flexible brush. Like look how wobbly it is, it's so weird. Whereas the L'Oreal one is very firm, but this one has just got loads of tiny little teeth. Again, I find that this does a really good job at gripping onto my lashes. It's not quite as good as the L'Oreal one. However, I've still been reaching for this a lot recently. When I've been like, oh, I wanna put on a mascara that's gonna make my lashes look good. I'm like, oh, that new Maybelline one is nice. This one's more of a wet formula and I find that it does get a little bit clumpy. Which I mean, I like a clumpy lash as we know, but you just have to be a bit more careful with it. It makes my lashes look 
really good again. It's really nice. So those are my eyes done. And then finally for my lips, I have still been loving and using the e.l.f. lip liners all the time. Again, they just live in my handbag. This one is the shade Truth or Bear. I like the one that's like a bit more brown toned. The mauve one's really nice. They're all really nice shades. We have some new kids on the block for my lip combos. I have fallen in love with the lip combo that I tested. Again, I think it was either in my last video or the video before that. Whichever one that I tested these Kostas lip products, all of them are a win. And I wore this the other day and Ellie was on the train in front of me and she was like, what lipstick are you wearing? It looks so nice. And I was like, thanks, it's this new combo. Ooh. The Kosas lip liner in the shade Hot Liner in the shade, what shade are you? Infinite. It's got sharpener on the end and it's twistable. It is the perfect cool toned mauvey brown lip liner for me. I love this lip liner. However, because I used that in that other video, we have a new contender as well, which is the new Maybelline Lifter Liners. I am going to be doing an ad on these. This is not an ad though. These are completely smudge proof. This one is the shade on it. And if I just swatch it next to the Kosas one, as you can see, oh my God, they look the same. The Maybelline one is a tiny bit more brown, but if I just wait for that to dry, you know what, I'm gonna use this one on my lips. I haven't had these long, but immediately I was like, yeah, yeah, that is a lip liner that I like. Cause they are so creamy, but they dry down fully. You know what? This might be my wedding lip liner and then I'll use a lipstick over the top of it. I don't think the Kosas one is smudge proof, but let's test it. So this one is Maybelline, this one is Kosas. Okay, yeah, no, the Kosas one is not smudge proof and it's slowly fading, but can you see the Maybelline? Like it doesn't budge. It does not move. Like what the hell? But it doesn't feel sticky. Normally lip liners that are really long lasting feel sticky on your lips but it doesn't, like I don't understand. They are so good. And then let's top it with the other Kosas faves. I've got the Hot Beach Tinted Lip Balm by Kosas. These are just incredible. They smell like a MAC lipstick. They feel so hydrating, but they give that little bit of color. Okay, that lip combo is gorgeous. And then again, I've also been loving the wet lip oil from Kosas again. And this is the shade Unbuttoned. They also smell amazing. They feel amazing. They're not sticky in the slightest. They are so shiny. Oh, they just feel divine. Like Kosas have killed it with those lip combos. Lip combos, lip products. And this is my finished makeup look. I think everything looks so nice. I love it. Like, mmm. But it's one of my favorite lip combos potentially ever. Oh wait, I've got mascara on my lid. Yeah, there you go. So those are my current favorites of the month or like, I don't know, I guess the past couple months. And some of these are recent additions in the past couple weeks, but so many good products. And like, I love how the finished look looks. <laughs> Please let me know your favorites down below because as always, I love to read your suggestions. You're always giving me really good recommendations and advice. So if you leave a comment, I appreciate you. And I hope you guys are doing good. I will see you in my next video. Bye.